One of my first experiences with Steve Ray Vaughan was watching his Live at Montreux Jazz Festival performance. And on that DVD, I remember watching it when I was like nine or 10 years old, and the Tin Pan Alley performance always stood out. There was something about the way he used to just rake the strings and get that crystal clean tone that was just so appealing to me compared to all of the other guitarists I was hearing at the time. <laughs> I always wondered how he got that tone because it's gritty but it's just so clean at the same time. I've tried a lot of different amps in the past but there's something about the super reverb when you turn it up to about six or seven it starts to get super saturated but it does retain the crystal clean kind of tone that I'm trying to describe. I've just checked on the 1985 performance of the Montreux Jazz Festival and there is indeed a super reverb in Stevie's chain that night. So now I've finally got chance to crank the super reverb since we still have a pretty empty warehouse. There was something else which I reckon is quite an underrated topic in the Stevie world. Of course on the 1985 performance Stevie was using his Charlie guitar. Obviously this is not the, the real Charlie but this replica of Charlie features the same Dan Electro lipstick tube pickups and I think it's that which we're hearing a lot combined with the super reverb. It's got that real hollow bite to it which is just chimey and rattly. I don't know if that's a good describing word. It's just started raining here as you can probably see on the, dr the drops of rain on this guitar so that's probably a good cue to actually plug this in and make some noise so we're going to plug this Charlie replica straight into the super reverb, crank it up to about six or seven and let's, let's see if we can get that elusive 1985 live Timpan Alley sound. So that sounded pretty crazy to where I was sat. I mean, I was sat quite near it. It was pretty deafening. But it was missing some of the, uh, the glassy bites that I'm hearing on that performance. And of course we do make the Texan twang. I'm not even trying to sell you one of these right now. It's like, but this genuinely unlocks amps like the Super Reverb. So I'm going to click that on. I'm going to use the mid setting. And I'm going to see if this helps make up the shortfall from the lack of the other amps. Because of course Stevie was using like a Leslie, probably like a Dumble all these crazy elusive amps that we can't have access to. So what the Texan Twang does do is unlock your Fender amp or any amp actually into that ultra nice glassy clean bite. And of course the magic is when you roll up and down the guitar's volume knob. So let's try that now. See if we can get anywhere closer to it with the Texan Twang. <laughs> In the room, I felt like that was a really close approximation to that tone for an impersonator, because of course I'm not Stevie, I'm never going to be able to do Stevie's chops any justice because Stevie was Stevie. We all know that, you know, we're focusing on the gear side of it today, but a lot of the tone is of course coming from Stevie's right hand technique. The variance between the quieter notes and the velocity in the heavy handed notes, that really adds the the sting and the, and the softer, wistful notes that Stevie used to do. So if you guys want to try and replicate this kind of tone at home, definitely play about with the, the dynamics in the picking hand because it's all there within the picking hand really. <laughs> So there we have it guys, a nice and a nice and easy uh, quick video today, just cranking up a tube amp 
you know, with a nice treble booster. Lipstick tube pickups on this Charlie replica. By the way, if you like the sound of this guitar, we just did a proper breakdown last week of this guitar that we traded for. Definitely check that out if you're interested. And if you like the sound that the Texan Twang added today, uh, you can grab one of those at pedalporn.com or one of our dealers worldwide. Thanks a lot for watching. Let us know, did we get anywhere near the Tin Pan Alley tone? If not, let us know in the comments. We're not, um, not gonna hold it against you. Thanks a lot and cheers. Thank you.